In today's lesson, you will learn phrasal verbs that use the word crack. Oh, 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 ow, ow. Please subscribe to my channel so I don't keep getting attacked by all these subscribe buttons. Ow, ow, ow. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English use in real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today I will teach you the phrasal verbs crack up and crack down. This will be a short lesson and then next week I'm going to have another one that's going to be about idioms that use the word crack. So don't miss it. The two main phrasal verbs with the word crack are crack up and crack down. And even though up and down are opposites of each other, the phrasal verbs crack down and crack up are not opposites. Crack up has two main meanings. The first one is for someone to become crazy or mentally ill or just mentally unstable. A sample sentence for that is, after his son died in an accident, he just cracked up and was never the same again. The second meaning is to laugh a lot or to start laughing, as in, she just suddenly started cracking up when he told her a really silly joke. It can also be separable, as in, he cracks me up. He's so funny in his videos. Or sometimes I try to crack myself up because if I can relax enough to do something silly when I make these videos, then I get even more relaxed and I think I do a better job. Crack down is to start doing or reacting to something in a way that is more strict, as in, the school is cracking down on kids not doing their homework. So maybe before kids didn't do the homework they're supposed to do, nothing happened, they didn't get in trouble. But now they're going to start getting in trouble with their teachers because they're not doing the homework because the school is cracking down on them. Also, there's crack down as one word without a space that's a noun. And if you've watched many of my videos about phrasal verbs, you know I usually include that because lots of times some phrasal verbs, if you take the the space away and make the two words one word, it becomes a noun and has a little bit different meaning, sometimes a very different meaning. And in this case, crackdown means a strong action that someone with power or authority takes to stop something. Sample sentence is, because of the government crackdown on immigration, many people are protesting in the streets. Now I have a few practice exercises for you then. Fill in the blanks with either crack up, crack down or crack down. And don't forget to conjugate the word crack when needed. Number one, the police have started a new blank on drunk drivers. Number two, after his wife left him, he blank. Number three, that comedian always blank me blank. Number four, the police are blank on drunk driving. For homework, I would like for you to make a sentence in the comments with the words in this lesson. But I know most of you won't do it because you haven't been, but I hope you do because it will give you more practice and some free help and free feedback from me. So you should really take this opportunity to practice your English. Now that's all for today's lesson. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. And you can also sign up to get emails to get more English help from me. And if you have time, you can stay here at YouTube and watch more of my English lessons. Goodbye. And remember, with hope, anything is possible. Ow. 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 Wait, I'm going to the wrong side. I'm going to die. No, that's right. This side. It's going to come in from this side. Ow. 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 Let's see if that works. What do you think? Hope.